acrylic pour. I've seen this on YouTube a few times, I've been dying to try it. Uh, this is my first art video as well, so what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> I've already pre-mixed um, some of these colours here. You can see the red, the blue, the aqua, boring beige. And I'm just going to mix the other one up. It's just a part mixture of paint, acrylic paint, and this liquid X that I purchased. Um, other people use this other brand. I think it's called Flow something. I will find out <laughs> and I'll put that in the video. Um, so yeah, I'll just stir, put them all together, stirred it up and um, had them ready. It has to be certain consistency. So that's the liquid X there that I'm going to mix with the paint. Um, I'm going to mix it with this um, paint I found at the Art Shed. It's really nice. It's like a pearlescent type of colour. Um, that's it there. It's really pretty. Anyway, all the products that I used I will have at the end of the video so you can see what I used. Um, yeah. So I'm just going to mix that in and then I'll have all the paint ready and you'll see the next step. Yeah, this is a really nice colour. It comes out really, looks really, really, really nice. Yeah, so I don't know if you can see there the pearling in it. It's really quite stunning. I'm definitely going to try that colour again. It's um, Hol Holcroft brand and it's um, pearl white is the colour. Then with a white colour, um, it's also the same brand, that Holcroft White. I haven't used that brand before. Okay, so now that I have all the paint in there, I'm going to add the silicon um, to each one. Um, and also this cup is to combine all the colours together. Okay, so I'm not going to mix, I'm not going to put any silicon in the pearl or the white. I will put uh, silicon in all the other ones. Um, okay, so what I'm using is this silicon oil. I'll show all the products at the end so you can just have a good look to see all the products and brands that I used in this video. I did watch a video where this one guy, he put in um, Oh, excuse me, three drops. So over the hiccups, I always hiccup. Um, he put three drops in the colours, so I'm going to try that. Um, and then you need to combine them all together into the cup. Um, you don't have to, but this is the method that I'm choosing to do today. Because um, that's the good thing about art is there's no real true method to anything, you just can just go for it. So um, I'm just combining all these colours in. And what you can do is you add a bit and then do another bit and then do a, they come back to that colour. Other thing I saw a lady said to pour it from a high distance. Um, that helps the silicon react, I think. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to add all the colours together and then just keep back in. Oh, oh, I cut myself. Not really, it's just paint. <laughs>
Okay, so once I've added all the paint there, um, I get this another stick and just gently, once or twice, just um, move it in the paint. I probably shouldn't have let it drop back in there. I'm not sure because I don't know what I'm doing, to be honest. Um, and always have a rag. It's one thing I've always learnt when art. Always have a rag on standby there will always be a mess. So this is the canvas I'm using. It's just a thin, one of those thin canvas boards. Really cheap to buy. You can get them in junk shops even. Um, I'm using a tub to put the pour in and um, also this tray which is just, it's actually like a like a drying tray or you can get it like from the microwave or whatever. It just helps to keep the canvas up so it won't stick to the bottom after you do the pour. I've seen people use cups and pins. So there's a couple of different ways to do this. I'm just going to pour it straight onto the canvas. I've seen other people stick the cup and then turn the canvas upside down and then let it sit there and then pour it out, which I'm going to try as well. There's so many different ways you can do this. This is why I think I'm going to become addicted and probably post a few more of these videos. <laughs> it's an excuse to be able to do it again. Anyway, here we go. I'm just going to pour it straight in. And I think the deal is to just go for it. Just pour it straight in. Don't hesitate. As you can see, there's like little cells forming from the silicon. So really happy with that and then you just take the canvas and tilt it so it's covered all the sides. I've just added the white which I kind of regret doing because it doesn't have any of the um, liquid X in it so it's just become a big lump so I'm really disappointed about that. See it's sticking to the middle of the panel so there's a lesson learned there. I don't think I'll ever do one without the liquid X again. I'm really loving the red with the blue. Yeah, that white has just become like this big blob, like you'd see on satin. <laughs> Is it satin? I can't remember. If anyone knows, please leave a comment below. Oh, I might as well just add, please subscribe to my channel if I haven't said that already. Anyway, this is pretty um, random. I'm just trying to think up ways to do this. Like I've seen people scrape these, but I'm really excited. As you can see, like all the cells are forming halfway through there. I love that effect. So yeah, please subscribe to our channel um, and stick around, we might have some other different videos, we love trying fun new things and I hope you enjoyed going on this journey with me discovering about this um, style of art. Thanks, thanks for watching, bye!